Welcome back to another episode of a Let's Play Roma in Football Manager 2019. I'm Aether and uh, since last episode we have played quite a few games. Uh, after that annoying loss versus uh, Udinese, we managed to bounce back with a huge win versus Genoa in the league. Then a huge win versus uh, Dynamo Kiev in the Euro Cup. And then a draw away versus Spal. And then we lost uh, in the second leg uh, versus uh, Dynamo Kiev. But since we won so big in the first one, I felt like uh, it's already over. And they used a weaker team for this one. So uh, a loss wasn't surprising me. But th this means we went through to the next round. And then we managed to get a decent win at home versus uh, Frostione. And um, other than these results, there's one more thing I want to mention. Because you know this one player in my team that I've been complaining a lot about because he haven't met the, the expectations I have on him. And that's Jekko. Because uh, he's been scoring very few goals. But look at this. Something happened. Since uh, we reached uh, February, something happened. Because here, here is uh, February, the start of February. Then we have Jekko scoring. Jekko scoring twice. This one Jekko was rested. Then Jekko scored twice. Then Jekko scored again. So in all games we have played in the, in the February where Jekko has been playing, he's basically scored in every single game except the last one. So maybe, yes maybe, we finally have the Jekko I was expecting at the at start of the season. Because I expected him to be a beast. I expected him to carry our goal scoring all by himself. And they haven't, but uh, maybe as yes, maybe we have reached a point where we actually do that. Um, today we are playing Fiorentina, and we're playing Fiorentina away. Uh, they are currently uh, in the, in the mid part of the table, but uh, they are it's a very close table, so they uh, aren't many points away from a spot uh, in Europe. So we're go going to be very motivated, and ha they have that home advantage. As you can see in the top, things look a lot closer here. Um, from the schedule, you know that we lost out on points versus Spal, and of course, in last episode, we lost out on points versus Udinese, and that means that uh, that once big gap we had down that saved the margin has really, really shrunk, and it's currently only two points. But then, with those two points, of course, we have played one less game than Napoli, so we have the chance to increase it today. But that means uh, for, it, uh, for us to be able to increase it, we need to take a very difficult uh, victory away versus uh, Fiorentina. This is the way we're going to start it. Um, there's a tough schedule currently. We are rotating a lot, basically rotating players every game. And uh, because of all those injuries, I really keep track on the medical center also, because uh, as you know, the med medical center tells you what players uh, are in risk of getting injured. So. I'm very, very careful with with playing those players. And as you can see, Pellegrini is starting this game and this brilliant news. He's been back now for a few games. And uh, as you know, he, he had that long, long injury. He's been out for like three months or something like that. And uh, that's, of course, very frustrating for us because uh, have such great expectations for him in the future. And uh, you know, if the, if uh, players are going to reach their full expectations, uh, you can't have them injury, uh, injured when when they are developing uh, developing the most. And they, of course, they are developing the most in in young years. Uh, you can see some red arrows, were more red arrows uh, before, so maybe he is about to turn back. But uh, I mean, it's always risk when something like that happens. That uh, when the player comes back, the young player after a long injury. Uh, his uh, full potential may have decreased and I always counted on him to be like one of uh, uh, the foundations of this team uh, of course maybe not the, this the first season but uh, second, third, fourth season when he really develops and becomes uh, somebody that hopefully could be like one of our main big players that uh, could develop into a, a world star and uh, we started this game on the, on here with some pressure from Fiorentina. They actually had a great chance there, but uh, um, Olsen and our goal made no mistake and still a draw. Looking at statistics here, not much going on with the highlight side of that first one. Not going on, much going on with the chances here either. So uh, we had two early shots, they had one, and kind of nothing at all since that. Uh, clock just ticks on and ticks on. This looks to be a very, very boring first half. And of course, as always, we pick up an injury. Why am I not surprised at all? 
Oh my gosh. Why am I not surprised at all? I feel like we can't play a, a single game without getting an injury. Uh, here is Colorado. We are into extra time in the first half. Maybe, just maybe we can create something. Or if it looks here like we might get hit with a counter-attack. A beautiful interception by F uh, Florenzi for Divo Corrigi. Correct for Pellegrini. Back to Ansossi. Where this is what heading, guys. You're heading in the wrong direction. We can't get closer and closer to our side of the pitch if we want to score, because then things like this happens, and then we have the counter-attack, and all the Fiorentina players are coming now. There's a lot of them into our box, but oh my god, we turn this one around. Where is this one heading? I don't know. No mistakes now, lads. No mistakes. Was that the highlight? My gosh, game, what you're up to. That's a very silly highlight. Oh my god. I thought that maybe something real was going to happen, but then yes, that happened. And uh, we have the halftime whistle, and we really can't be pleased with this one, can we? When we we uh, have the possession, we have been creating more chances, but where are the highlights? Where are the goals? Definitely going to tell the lads that we are not pleased. And uh, other than that, I think uh, think we could uh, could go to a little bit more attack. Mine information here, bringing SLC a little bit higher up into the pitch. Maybe use them as a advanced playmaker. Get a little bit more focus, uh, a little higher up into the pitch. Because that was a really, really lackluster first half. Nothing going on. Here's Colorado though, trying to reach Pellegrini. Back to Colorado. Could we actually be getting our first real high? Oh my god, I was so nervous when we were heading in this direction. Come on, lads. Step it up. Pellegrini. And oh, that's such a bad pass. And they are breaking through. And luckily for us, though, that was a pretty weak finisher. Not much problem there for our goalkeeper to tip it out to a corner. It goes long, it goes wide, and that's no trouble at all for Olsen. Oh my god, this is so frustrating. Why aren't we uh, creating anything at all? I think we're going to pause it here, go to the tactic screen, start thinking, this is not working. What do you want to change around? We've already been forced to make an early sub. I think we're going to go... Um, let's try go two strikers. Bring uh, Divock Ridge up on top as the advanced forward. Then we can have Jekko focusing a little bit more on uh, support, being the big, strong target player. Oric uh, out this side, of course, this is not his strongest position. So uh, we're actually going to sub him, and uh, uh, let's see who do we want to bring in instead. Let's go with Under, like that, trying to strike us. Hopefully this could uh, could work. But right now we are basically the, the most boring game ever. Here's uh, El Sharaway. A very, very beautiful pass for Under. Newly sub in the. Look in the middle. Why didn't you pass? My God, why didn't you pass? A pass there. It would have been a goal for certain. It would have been an open net. You greedy bastard. Guys, come on. Let's get creative. We need some creativity on the pitch. Clock just takes on. Let's get back. I mean, we have been creating far more chances since uh, we changed up our formation, so maybe we're going to keep it like that. Florencia has picked up a potential injury, and we kind of don't have any good options at all on the bench. That's the one he is uh, rotating with. The cost drop is already uh, injured, I believe. Might be suspended, but I think it's injured. So we are going to go with a uh, kind of -ish, bad -ish shove. We're going to bring our young central defender. Yes, because we can't risk any more injuries. Clock is ticking. And this is not what we want to see. Highlights starting with Fiorentina possession in our side of the pitch. There's a lot of plays in the attacking side. Come on, lad. Beautiful intercepted. Here's Jekko. Long ball for El Sharaway. We have some plays into the box. Oh, my God. That was a bad challenge. Come on. Oh, oh my God. We are getting one for free. It's Divo Corrigi. The one with... Oh, my God. We brought him up from a right winger to a striker, but this is all on the Fiorentina goalkeeper. And uh, can, can I can tell you guys the secret that the Fiorentina goalkeeper... Oh my god, this is so bad. Uh, La Fonte is actually one uh, keeper I've been scouting for, for next season to just see what we can find to strengthen uh, the team. Um, but uh, I'm not sure if uh, seeing him do mistakes like... Oh, that was a really ugly challenge. That could be a straight-up red card. 
That was really, really ugly. I wouldn't be surprised at all to see a red one now. Just waiting here to see. Yeah, it's a straight up red card, and I can't complain about that. It was such an ugly uh, challenge. You should be uh, really ashamed of it. So I think right now, since uh, the clock is almost up, I think we're going to go really defensive here. Let's go for uh, uh, park, park the bus. And basically like this for the last few minutes. We all went men down. I think we, we need to play it a little bit uh, safer. Oh, six minutes of extra time. I don't like that at all. But the clock is ticking quickly and that's good news for us. Come on, ref. You just blow the whistle. I'm waiting for you. That's going to be a free kick. And... Is it going to be another red card? Or is it going to be a yellow one? No, just talk to him. But the clock is ticking. And the ref should blow the whistle at any second now. Because the extra time is up. And that's the full time whistle. I can't say I'm pleased with the way we played. Because we played pretty bad. And I'm actually going to tell them that I'm not happy. They need to step it up in the future. Um... But I really had higher expectations. We can also quickly take a look at the injury here to see. I'm betting it's more bad news for us. Because you know injuries in this save is... Uh... And of course Florenzi also. So let's start looking at Florenzi. One, two days. We can handle that. And then Santon. Two months. My gosh. Two months. Yeah. The story of uh, of this save. And uh, one uh, match banned. But I'm expecting this to be increased. Because it was a really ugly one. So... It's probably going to be uh, extended to, to more games. Um, but yeah, that's it for this episode. Um, if you enjoyed this, uh, use the comment. Uh, I've said it so many times before, but don't be afraid to use the comment section. I love to hear from you guys. Feedback, what you think about the game, about the players, about uh, the way I'm creating these uh, videos. I love to hear from you guys. And don't be afraid to use the like button either. But I see you in the next episode.